If Hong Kong isn't on your travel bucket list, maybe it should be. Savvy travelers are zeroing in on this iconic city and are getting to experience its authenticity and affordability. So here to tell us more from L.A. is travel expert Michael Corbett. It's today's sponsored segment. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Hey, my pleasure. Anytime I can talk about Hong Kong, I'm happy to. <laughs> I just actually got back from there not too long ago. So you knew all about it? I do, I do. It's truly, you know, honestly, it really is a bucket list city. It's very magical because it's one of those cities, and it's considered actually to be one of the most exhilarating cities in the world where East meets West and Old meets New. It really is an incredible fusion. So why is Hong Kong more affordable and maybe we could say an easier city to experience? Uh, right now, there's 150 flights a week going to Hong Kong. Airfares are historically low. The accommodations there in hotels are incredibly affordable. English is spoken almost everywhere. There's no visa required. And once you're there, transportation in the city is very efficient and very inexpensive. So it's an easy place to get to, an easy place to actually visit. That's comforting to know because there's a lot of people who may be intimidated by how long it takes to get there, maybe because it's a foreign country and a new language, maybe they don't speak. It's good to know there's an easy way to be able to get around and see things. Yeah, truly, and it's also one of the safest cities in the world as well, and yet there's so much to do and see in the city. So what is one of those must-sees in Hong Kong? You know, my first thing that I tell people to do when they go there is go to the top. You want to go to Victoria Peak, which is one of the highest peaks in Hong Kong, and it gives you this spectacular overview of the city with the city skyline and also views of the South China Sea. And then at 8 o'clock every night, you want to end up on the harbor looking back at the city, watching what's called the Symphony of Lights, which is probably the world's most spectacular skyline a light show with lasers and music it is it's really it's surreal it's fantastic there's other things to do going to the Lantau Island which you can visit the Big Buddha uh, you can also take the uh, aerial tram back down the Nong Ping 360 cable car down it is spectacular with views everywhere and also there's the wonderful combination of culture of old and new with hundred year old temples and yet brand new wonderful cultural centers. And, and then there's the food, which that's a whole nother discussion. It's amazing <laughs> over there. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. Real quick before, you let us, uh, before we let you go, give me one of those food items that people love to get in Hong Kong. Okay. First of all, there's 60 Michelin star restaurants, but if you're a real foodie, the secret is you want to take a foodie tour. It's around $100 because the, the street food scene is amazing. It is really, truly one of my favorite places to go for food. Um, and you can uh, taste and sample all these wonderful, great things. So we see the website right there. It was visit, or excuse me, discoverhongkong.com. If you want to book, you can also get your travel agent to hook you up. Michael Corbett, travel expert, telling us everything we need to know about Hong Kong this morning. Michael, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. We'll see you in Hong Kong.